Okay, sup dudes, it's your boy, the Dragon Age PD here, and um, welcome to a new episode of uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And last, last time, uh, Kreia went into this door, I think. Yep, and now she's fighting her ass off in here. So, uh, let's see. A low security door. Can we open this? Oh, yes we can. Let's see what's in these... Uh, in these cases, repair kit. Not something I can use. Oh, what's this? Open maintenance door to the iron engines. That's really handy. That's really handy. All right. Um, let's open this case. FIFA case opening. Uh, oh, another fiber blade. Nothing here. All right, let's go. Let's see, is it over here? Oh, I'm pretty sure those Sith assassins will attack pretty pretty soon. Uh, I want to have a quick touch around so we don't get attacked immediately. Let's see, foot locker. Ah, computer spike, that's handy. Alright, let's see, let's see. So, can I use the spike for this thing? Oh no. Parts already uh, used it. So... Okay, let's go mate. Ah yes boy. We're making it to this part. Alright. This way, I guess. You know, sometimes it sounds like I'm pretending that I don't know anything of this anymore, but you know, I actually do know everything of this. So, let's not, let's uh, try not to sound surprised because that doesn't sound real at all. I'm not T. Martin. Um, yes, activate that shit, please. But you know, to be fair, I did forget some things of this game. Tell me you're joking. We are not going to cross back into the Paragus facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. It's the only way to get around the sealed door and into the hangar where the Ebon Hawk is. All right, but I know I'm going to regret this. Of course you are. Oh. I sense you, my master. Faint. Weak. Your senses betray you. As you betrayed me. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited as you, perhaps. To have fallen so far and learned nothing. That is your failing. The that's failure a good point. is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead. Save one, and one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps. We of, shall see. of course I can. <laughs> wow, she's really weak. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What, what's oh, yeah. wrong? Are you alright? That's all right? true. Damn it, hold on. It's only a little farther. Don't give up on me now. What happened to you? My hand felt like it was being dipped in molten carbonite. You look fine. Come on. We need to keep moving. Progress fuel depot. Let's go, boy. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello there, T3. I'm 4, I think. Yeah. It's a utility droid. Looks like it's been hit with an ion charge and dumped here. I know, we ran into the protocol droid earlier. He attacked us too. How did you survive? He just dumped you into this fuel pipe? Sounds like he, was, he just wanted to keep you out of the way until he could find a way off the station with us. Good thing your memory core is well shielded. Don't blame yourself if you hadn't gotten us 
Out of the administration level, we'd have never made it this far. Hell yeah. Then let's go. t has joined your party. He has the ability to, to make programming spikes on demand and can also upgrade items if asked. Oh hell yeah. Influence gained. T3. Yeah, you know, you gotta be friendly with the droid. Concealed stash. Hangar 25 control conduit. Conduit. Looks like this container was deliberately tossed here. The control circuit looks important. Of course it is. Recover mine. Skill to load. Well, let's disable it then. I hear droids. And I wasn't wrong. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, that one is broken. I see. And now he's broken too. Ooh. Let's level this bitch up. And what does he have again? Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. What does he have equipped now? Iron Striker and the Iron Blast. Let's take the flamethrower. In this case, like, weapon-wise, he's stronger, so... See? He can legit one-shot him. Oh, fucking hell. Boy, the repair kit, it's for robots. How's... Okay. How weak that that droid is! It's legit laughable how weak some of these droids are. Ah, detonator is pretty nice. Wait, I think. Ah, I see. I see what's happening. Oof! Hey, can you? Okay. I was about to say, can you piss off? Okay. There you go. Okay, that's pretty good to have. Just say the word. Let's give this. Let's give him some some uh, inputs or whatever you call them. So his health goes up faster. Okay, let's go. Okay, it's an emergency field station. Shut down emergency field to exit ramp. Oh, hell yeah. Look out. Hell yeah. Okay, let's go. Hello there. How sure do I? Everyone down. Oh, there's another two droids over there. What's this? Oh, I know where this is. This is the docking bay. It's really needed. Oh shit. There will be a droid here. Oh, there. Okay, so this is a broken droid. There's nothing in there. So... No. We don't attack. We do this. Yeah. 
cheat. The cheat. This door is magnetically sealed. I can't believe this. The ship's right out there, and we can't get to it. Yeah, no shit. What? Oh, whoa, slow. Then go to the terminal and open it. Huh? What is that piece of junk saying? Uh, the droid says he can open the hangar door by slicing the computer on the ramp above How can you even understand that noise? I served with a lot of... Utility drawers in the well many years ago. Yeah, I'll explain someday when we're not being chased by a hundred or more stealth Sith killers. All right. Well, if he can slice the door open from the terminal above, don't let me stop him. Well, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah, boy. Mm, let's see how am I gonna do this. So first, let's throw this shit up there. Bang, boy. That's two droids for your ass. Oh shit! There goes my. Uh, um, why? Why? So let's use the Euro pacifier. Oh, that doesn't help at all. No, there will be droids out of that room, I think. Yep, of course. Why wouldn't it there? Boy, watch out. <sighs> Boy, if you... Oh my god, he almost went into the mines. I would have left my ass off, but also, you know, he probably would have died. So, you know, that's not very good to have. Wait, interface, so... So now, he's fully equipped with all the shit. What's this? Credits. Always good to have. Let's level up for a minute. Skills. Uh, I don't know. We already have stealth. We've got, we got like almost everything. But let's do demolitions since we don't have that much of that shit. And the computer user then do stealth. Because why not? Then we do feats. And feats, I don't know. Hmm, let's do credit, uh, improved flurry. And it's powers, and then let's do... I don't know, what do they recommend? No, piss off with the force cream. I don't like that power. So let's use... Force push? Yeah. Except... So... Let's go down the hole again. You know what, fuck it. Just fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Not really the best idea I ever had, but you know, who cares. There's legit no fun in it, of killing them, mate. There are one hit. Retrieving them then? Nope. Okay then. I guess this will help. Hell yeah. 
Okay, let's see if because this had some remains. Short impact armor mark too. Okay, let's see if we, yeah, let's get that instead of the other one because that one is better, I think. Oh, yeah, gas. The contamination. The contamination. Or oh, whatever. Three parts. Okay. Open. Failure. Let's see, wait, can I get spikes from this dude? Need help grabbing spike. Can you make any more? 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 Never mind, I'll be going then. Okay, so now we should be able to... Fuck. Now we should be able to get it. Mate, you fat ass fucking droid. Get the fuck out of the way. Open. Attempt to shut down. Oh, that works too. Okay. Open. Yeah, that works too. I guess. Because I remember in my previous times I played through this game that I just, you know, took a run for it. But uh, this works too, I guess. Ah, oh, let's see what's in the metal box. Ah, oh, packs. Okay, cool. And what's in here? Another math pack. Alright, let's get into the ship. Onto the ship, I mean. Yeah, of course, enter the Ebon Hawk. Quick! We're gonna need some time to fire up the engines. Let's give the laser turret a workout. Oh, hell yeah. This part is probably my favorite part. Hell yeah. Let's get out of here! Kreia, your hand, what happened? There is no time. We must leave. Then leave. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, boys. hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. That's great odds. <laughs> I fucking love this banter. Somebody shut that trash compactor up! Look. Look, can you fly this or not? I'm doing all I can, and that's not enough. What'd you do to make these guys so mad? Well, either they hit us and destroy us, or they hit an asteroid and make the whole field go Nova. Let's just do our best to keep your distance. Fire on the asteroid, maybe the explosion will destroy That'll it. take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. There. You've been paying them until we care to. We're trying to jump. Hold on! This is gonna get a little rocky. No shit. Oof. <sighs> All right. 
Well, now that we just killed a planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. I heard none of this. <laughs> I heard enough. None of this interests me. Now, uh, Harina was on its way to Telos? Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. Hmm. Care to explain how you tracked me down? You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. How come I don't remember any Whatever of this? Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. That's an unusual set of coincidences. True. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. <laughs> That's true. I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to... Per Be silent. We're having a conversation here. <laughs> I love this droid. He says he repaired the ship and got us to progress. Repaired this ship? My eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on. Get! So why are the Sith looking because for me? Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. I'm not a Jedi, not any longer. Whatever True. lies you tell yourself are of no consequence. The Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. Well, that's of the Jedi, that can't be true. The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. What about the Jedi on Dantooine and Coruscant? The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the Room of a Thousand Fountains have fallen still in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall and the civil war that followed. If any survivors still live, we need to warn them. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. And how do we stop the Sith? That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. They're eager to fight us, I say we Look, fight back. Enough with the we already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. An uh, enemy can be fought and you killed. You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? We well, want. This is self defense, not war. Not it's true. To me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. I have nothing to lose now, how bad? How bad could uh, it be? Like so many Jedi, you hear, but you do not listen. You have much to learn. Shut the we fuck have up. spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. 
Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, I think we will be less fully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but I might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. You're right, she may need help. Can you handle the things up here? We're on autopilot until we hit Telos. Until then, a droid could fly this thing. Besides, I think our passenger could use your help. I'll go check on it. Um, you eat a what? I gained dark side points, light side, and next light side shift. What's a next? Wait, let me search that. What's a next light side shift? I don't fucking know. I never had that. Go to two. What is next? So shift. Okay. Oh, net. No. What the hell, the? Huh? Ah, I've gained more light side points than dark side. Okay, that's good because I want to do light side. Sorry for taking my time to search it because uh, you know I want to keep it. Uh, I want to keep this story light sided. Look, uh, not like I care. Oh yeah, I'll go check on my god. Okay, can't do anything more interesting with her. That's sad. Uh, oh, hello, T3. Wait, can I have a conversation with him? Let me see. Oh wait, I should check on this. Look, it's a HK unit. It's a black one. It's a, that's a mod, by the way. A repair diagnose the droid. It looks like the droid processor, droid chassis, and a vocabulator. So, oh wait. That's all I'm gonna need for now. I might cheat for getting, you know, everything for the droid. I might, I don't know. Alright, let's talk to Kreia. Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. Then why the fuck am I here? <sighs> when you when you lost your hand I felt it too. That does not surprise me. Any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. Um, then consider the pain a lesson. If I could, I could have protected you. I would have. Yeah, okay. that, that sounds better. I would have save protected your you. Pity. I am here to save you, not the other way around. Well, look at your hand, bitch. Looks like to me you're the one who needs help. Seems to me you need to learn to listen. If I felt loss of your hand, what would have happened if you died? I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. Yeah, no shit. More extreme? I felt like my hand was dipped in molten carbonite. Then the sensation you would feel upon my death might be less than that, though much quicker. Quicker, would it have killed me? Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna test it. Uh, what can we do? I don't want my actions to place you at risk. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragas. How could this bond have happened? I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. Ah, that explains a lot. You and Kreia possesses the force chain, special ability. Neither of you uses the force power in yourself, the other gains the benefit as well. A okay. powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. No shit. I need to know more about... Can you tell me 
Let's have it since the Mandalorian Much has works. happened in the galaxy in your absence, and since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V. Tell me about the Mandalorian Wars. This is a tale you already know well. Almost a decade ago, the Mandalorians began preying on the Republic, bringing the fires of war to many planets along the Outer Rim. Their predations continued, winning victory after victory, until the Republic finally begged the Jedi Council for aid. But the Jedi Council didn't help only a few of the Jedi Knights. Indeed, the Jedi Council counseled caution and patience to assess the Mandalorian threat as the Outer Rim burned. And Raven and Malik refused to wait. Two Jedi Knights, Revan and Malak, defied the Jedi Council. They challenged the Mandalorian fierceness and brutality on the battlefield with a viciousness of their own. Revan's entrance into the conflict marked the true beginning and end of the war. It was Revan who drove the Mandalorians back into the unknown regions. Until we destroyed them at Malachor V. Yes. I have heard tales of Malachor V and Revan's part in it. I know you served there in that final battle. It must have been a terrible thing. Many Jedi died at Malachor V, and the conflict split the Jedi Order. Speak the truth. The war's end was merely another beginning, and what seemed a victory for the Republic was far from it. Many believed the Mandalorians defeated at Malachor V, but the Mandalorians taught the Jedi much through battle. And so it was that Malak, Revan, and the Jedi that followed them discovered their true natures in the Mandalorian Crusade. But you know this. I felt them fall. The war had consumed them. Consumed them? No. Taught them. Defined them, yes. As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle after battle, they grew to despise weakness, just as the Mandalorians did. In the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict shaped the Jedi and turned them into a weapon against the Republic. And that was the Jedi Civil War. Revan and Malak and all the Jedi that served them turned against the Republic and the Jedi Order. Jedi fought Jedi. Revan was ambushed by the Jedi and captured. Malak continued to wage war in his master's place, inflicting terrible wounds on the Republic. Wounds that bleed still. How are Malik and the Sith defeated? As all Sith do, without a strong enemy, the Sith turned on each other. Revan escaped the Jedi and returned to finish Malak, and that was the end of the Jedi Civil War. I think I've heard enough. I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. <laughs> I'll crack a skull into the bow cut if he tries. He's not a fool, but he does. I'd like you to start he using it. He is a it. fool and an imbecile. His potential lies downwards, not up. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Well, wait, but why was it lost? Only because I didn't. Well, oh, that's bullshit. That's really, that's really uh, some bullshit right there. Right, um... How's our passenger? She's still aging? <laughs> For someone who, without much to say, she sure says no. Uh, she seems fine, just needs some rest. She sure could use it. It might do wonders for her mood, too. She's lucky she's a Jedi, or someone would have killed her years ago. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good-looking once. But it takes some hard living to make creases like that. You're looking like you're that desperate. Hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be dropping out of hyperspace into the Nar Shadda Red Sector right now. After spacing that old witch, of course. <laughs> Look, ease off the insult. She was wounded helping us escape, remember? Whoa, all right, all right. Don't get mad at me. Hey. I didn't ask her to stay behind and get her hand cut off, okay? I mean, I appreciate what she did and all, but she could stand to lay off the insults herself, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's focus on getting to this for the time being. Like we have a choice? It's the only place Baragas had logged in their astrogation charts. 
You know, if you thought Paragus was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Hell yeah. So, what happened? What do you mean? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Excels aren't allowed to keep lightsabers. Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Oh, that's really good. Really good question. Mm. Single hilt or double-bladed, guys? Well, I'm, I'm uh, single hilt. Huh, figures. It wasn't red, was it? Nah, man. It was as black as... No, just kidding. Just kidding. Actually, the crystal was redder than the Lagrax eye. Both the blade and crystals were unique. Yeah? Unique how? Well, my lightsaber was a green one, like those of the Jedi Councilors. Silver, like the streams in the room of a thousand fountains on Curacao. Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those Sith think twice before coming after us. True. I think it would just drive them to hunt me harder. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our... <laughs> All right, forget I said anything. <laughs> I fucking like Ethan. Uh, Telos. Damn, this looks wasted. Uh, climate. Artificially maintained. Space station and a landing zone. Okay, cool. Let's go. Telos. Attention, this is Citadel Station Bay Control, Dock Module 126. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. I don't like the sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion... Uh-oh. Here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Grant, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. Cut on real estate. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In Oof. addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. I understand. Hold on. Is there any way to get our gear back? If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will... Do you understand? I do. I'll cooperate. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. You are. So shut the fuck up. Oh, what's this? What's this? A handmaiden, I think. Yep, that's a handmaiden. What's up with the shit with her eyebrows that she did? Here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. I understand. Well, yeah. we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. Hell yeah. Let's get some beer. Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. You're wrong, I'm no Jedi. Jedi or no, you're the one I am pledged to kill. There is no mistaking that. The exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The you're exchange, worth quite a bit huh? of money. I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. 
You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No <laughs> Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station. Hey, that's Taking bullshit. the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Let's get this over with. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave him alone. You want to fight? Then try me if you've oh, got the thanks, guts. Oh, thanks, Adam. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. You underestimate my power. Oh, shit. Sorry for the reference. <laughs> I guess we'll do this then. Yeah! The security cameras are... What? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! Alright, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the force cage. Cooperate, and we will... Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, uh, who is that? Is that Batu Rem? Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. We've arranged for an apartment in Residential Module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Officer, let Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? Let's go. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. We cannot stay in any one place too long, but our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Maybe we can get back to sleep now. Yeah, maybe. Nope. We should get back to bed. Before, whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Of course. Hmm. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If he served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man. A child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. Wow, that's but very such nice a of loss you. of ability for a Jedi. It seems so extreme. He has been gone from war some time. 
It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that he turned away from war, did all that he could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do him a disservice by not speaking of this while he is present. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragas facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. All right, then. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station, whether it's the Ebon Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna end the episode here. I hope you guys like this. I sure liked it. And, um, goodbye guys. Let me save it. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I don't wanna lose this shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah.